Hello YouTubers, it's Kevin. It's been quite a long time since I made a video for you guys. Uh, today I'm going to make a repair video of a Denso starter from a 1996 Corvette. Um, this should pretty much be usable for 1992 to 1996 Corvettes, anything with an LT1 or an LT4. As far as I know, use the same Denso starter. Um, the part number of the starter from Denso is 128-000-8111. GM part number is 104-55709. Um, the reason I'm rebuilding this is because I was trying to leave the office the other day, and as I was going to start my C4, it went clunk, 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 get, get about a quarter of a turn out of it. Um, battery seemed fine after a couple of attempts, finally it started. Um, it's really not a whole lot that can go wrong in a starter like this. They are ball bearing. Uh, I'm not really concerned about brushes wearing out because the thing only runs for three to five seconds at a time. So really all we're left with is the solenoid and apparently I've been told that the solenoids are kind of a known fault in these uh, starters when they do start having problems. So I bought a little rebuild kit here from Nation Starter and Alternator. I'm not endorsed by these guys, it just was an easy source to get these things. Um, I've never taken one of these starters apart before so you're going to see everything in real time here. Um, decide how much I want to edit out. Okay, so we pop the terminal cover off. And I've been told this is a pretty easy project. We'll find out. Ah. Get the copper bus bars off. First one was a 14 millimeter. I think the second one's going to be an 8 millimeter. Nope. The walk of shame. Seven. Seven millimeters. Okay. So we have the copper bus bars off now. Should allow us to get access to the inside of it. Previously, copper bus bars wrapped around the uh, end of the housing there. Pop off this boot here. And that's the power wire to the starter motor. Uh, I think it's 10 millimeters. Ah, uh, no. Looks too small to be 14, so let's try 13. Nope, 13 is also too big. It's all in real time here, folks. Head off to the side over there. Okay, now we should be able to pop this back cover off. These look like sevens. Now again, I have no clue what I'm going to find inside of this thing. My C4 has 85,000 miles on it. It was a daily driver at one point in its life. So it did see a lot of starts, I'm sure, in the past 22 years. I guess you guys probably can't see. That's better. Sorry guys, I'm not uh, South Main Auto or OzStar. I mean, I love those guys, but uh, this is just a guy in his backyard here. Okay, and now for the grand reveal. Oh my God, look at that. I'm gonna put this stuff in front of the camera so that you can see what it looks like. Focus, there we go. 
Yeah, they're pretty chewed up. Not as bad as I thought they would be, but we already got it apart, so we'll go ahead and change everything out here. Looks to me like this spring has some molly grease in there. If you ever want to piss off your wife or your significant other, get some molly grease on your clothes and sit down on the couch. AVE told me that's one way to get your wife very angry at you. Okay. Take these nuts off here. You want to pay attention with this particular one because this is uh, one of the sides that gets connected to the solenoid. You want to pull the bolt out. Come on. Contact looks like that goes to the motor. Focus. Come on. There we go. the other side next. The other side should be a little bit easier. Things seen better days for sure. I'm gonna shut the camera off, my battery's getting low. 